As the Holy See prepares to announce on Wednesday the Vatican Bank's new structure and leadership, the institution released its profits report for 2013. The IOR posted earnings of 2.8 million euros, far below the 86 million it registered in 2012. Overall, the bank brought in about 70 million euros in revenue, but huge write-downs from pre-reform investments and large operational expenses ebbed away at profits. Tellingly, for 2013, the Vatican Bank spent 8.3 million euros in professional services required for its reorganization and reform. It included contracts with auditing firm Deloitte and Promontory Financial Group. The summary income statements also show that the bank contributed 54 million euros to the Vatican's budget. The IOR listed the final results of phase one of its reform process. As of June 30, 2014, the bank had 15,495 customers and managed 6 billion euros in assets. During phase one, they closed about 3,000 customer relationships, 2,600 of which were dormant or unused for an extended period of time. The remaining 396 did not meet the bank's new criteria, restricting account holders to Catholic organizations, clergy, Vatican employees and diplomats accredited to the Holy See. The IOR also stated that it froze and is in the process of closing an additional 359 customer accounts. On Wednesday, the Vatican's new Secretary of the Economy, Cardinal George Pell, will announce Phase 2 of the Vatican Bank's reform. The expected changes include a new bank president, as well as a scale-down of services.